everybody, Stix here at the Token Minorities bringing you, and yes, you guessed it, I am bringing you a PU match on my uh, Sticks versus the top of the ladder. Uh, this team I'm using is not particularly good, it just kind of was a team I threw together based on what I saw in the tier. And looking at his team, he actually has a very solid team, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to deal with it, but I guess that will come as it will. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and jump right into the battle. Uh, he leads with his Lee Vanny, as I predicted, and I lead off with my Garboder. Now, Lee Vanny carry Magico, however, I think first turn he'll just go for the Sticky Web, as I just decide to set up a layer of Toxic Spikes, as they will help me against his team a lot. And right here, I really should have predicted that he would have gone for Magic Coat as I go for a layer of spikes and they get bounced back, meaning I will have to bring Avalug in at some point to spin those away. And right here, I know he's going to go for a Magic Coat again, so I just go for the Clear Smog because I do run Clear Smog and Gunk Shot. However, I know that Clear Smog will not be a two-hit KO and he is in all likelihood sashed. So even if I did go for Gunk Shot, he would still live with his sash. And so I just wanted to show him clear smog, not gunk shot, because I know that he'll go for magic coat next turn because he has he thinks he has another turn to play around with it. So I can just go for gunk shot on this turn and KO that leave any. And I still have my Garboder with full health here, so I will be able to set up another layer of hazards if I so choose. As he brings in his Aurorus, I know even Specs Aurorus will not be able to take me out because for some reason I am running a specially defensive Garboder as he goes for Tri Attack. And unfortunately, he gets the Para Para hacks on the very first turn with Tri Attack. That's just incredibly unfortunate because I would have been able to get up spikes, which would have helped me so much against his team. And right here, I really can't do anything else, so I just decided to sack my Grow Boater. And I mean, this is where the uh, lack of thought put in this team really shows through because I had nothing to switch into Aurorus at all, and this is obviously a Specs one. Right here I go into my Avalog because he is Specs, I will be able to take a try attack and hoping I don't get para Parad again, I just go for the Rapid Spin to get rid of that layer of Spikes and Sticky Web, which will help, Lee, help me immensely against his team as right here I'm just gonna have to switch into my Kadabra because I don't want to sack Avalog yet as it does hardwall his Basculin which will be a huge threat especially with its most likely choice banded Aqua Jet I can just recover up on that as I go into my Kadabra I live with my Focus Sash and right here I could go for the Psychic I really really wanted to go for Dazzling Gleam to uh, predict the Sneasel switching in However, I am just going to go for the Energy Ball, which was the safer play, as the Sneasel does in fact come in, and it takes about 53% from this Energy Ball, or 47%, my apologies. But looking at that, it definitely would have helped if I had gone for Dazzling Gleam. That definitely would have KO'd, and so I'm kind of kicking myself over that one, as he does Pursuit Trap me. Uh, to my defense, I did predict the pursuit, but there was nothing I could do there. Sneasel was faster. And right here, I'm just going to go into my Kecleon, who can get off a Sucker Punch. And I could have gone for a Power Up Punch or a Return of Shadow Sneak. However, in the uh, event that he did go for Knock Off, I wanted to make sure to KO him. Because the worst thing he can do right here is go for the Ice Shard, get a little bit of damage off as I do go for a Sucker Punch. Uh, and that was just all around a better situation for me because Sucker Punch would have KO'd him and I would not have had any damage on me, but since he did go for the Ice Shard, my Sucker Punch fails, but he will go down to Life Orb and Poison. So my Kecleon is at a relatively good amount of health. Now, right here he goes into his Aurorus, and this is where my noobishness in PU really shines through. I didn't realize that Sucker Punch does not activate on Nature Power, as he's just able to get a free hit off on my Kecleon. And I would have been able to uh, KO it with a Power Punch or a turn or two Shadow Sneak. So basically, Sucker Punch was the worst option I could have gone for. And I mean, that just comes with experience in the tier, as he does hit me with the Tri Attack, and down goes my Kecleon. Now, right here, I go into my Rampardos as I. Uh, any hit of mine will take him out at all. I decide to go for the Earthquake because it will be super effective on... No, I don't go for the Earthquake. That's later. Uh, I just go for the Head Smash in case anything wanted to switch in. Would have KO'd anything. I think 
that the Simisir obviously would have been overkill, the Basculin would have been dead, and Nizrim Pardoth would have taken a chunk. Now his Basculin comes in right here, I am predicting that he will think that I'm going to go into Avalog, so I just go for the Head Smash again, as I do predict correctly as he goes into his Rampardos, but I miss my Head Smash. Sigh, that would have been easy to hit KO on that Rampardos. So I just decided to stay and get some damage off, as I do get a crit, so there is some justice in the Pokemon universe. I'm really not sure how much that crit mattered. I'll run a calculator, maybe, if I'm not lazy. As he goes into his Basculin right now, now the Aqua Jet is incredibly obvious, so I switch into my Avalog, who will take minuscule amounts from that. I know I'm only at 38%, and this is a Choice Banded Adaptability Aqua Jet that only does 15%. So I will be able to recover uh, all the way back up to, I believe it will be 84% after this recover and uh, lefties as he brings in his Simisir. Now, I think Rimpardos can take a uh, Fire Blast. Uh, I'm not sure either way. BHM is my win condition at this point because as soon as I can get it in safely, I can just click Psychic and KO something as Rimpardos does come out right here and he predicts that and goes for the sub. Uh, really wasn't much I could do. I didn't want Avalug to die, so my best play was to switch out. And I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake right here, take out that sub as Poison will bring him down to the point where uh, he cannot sub again, otherwise he will die. Now I'm not seeing lefties, so it must be a Pinch Berry. I'm guessing it's Pattaya based on Simisir's actually pretty good speed. I believe it's 101. BHM comes in here, something's just gonna die from a Psychic. I mean, that will, that's gonna be overkill on anything. He brings in his Basculin, and Basculin just goes boom. Uh, it's dead, it's gone. And right now I have the win right here, assuming uh, he doesn't get a crit or anything. Now it's worth noting right here that it is very good that I have the poison on him because he cannot go uh, for a sub now to get into blaze range because he will be KO'd by the poison following that substitute to activate his pinch berry. So because I have that first layer of toxic spikes, he is unable to activate his pinch berry, meaning this fire blast, even with a crit, would not have killed me, and I am able to knock him out with a psychic, and that will be the game. Uh, looking at this guy's rating, he was at 1330, which I know that's a seemingly low rating but that was good enough for I believe it was number 46 in the tier at the time and yeah PO's a, PU is a relatively new tier but hey I got a top 50, 50 match so I figured why not uh, thanks for watching guys this is uh, like comment subscribe all that stuff and this is Sticks signing out why not see you guys